I gave my watches away, ain't got no time for that. Asking where's my heart? Good luck finding it. I tried to be a full time YouTuber, it didn't work out. <laughs> it's all day to fall. I tried to do right and live my life. Try to blame me. Oh, definitely. I was over there like that. I love a hookah that make you feel a little good. I was just say, so what makes it good? Just say goodbye. This is a goodbye vlog. What? What? Monday, right? Today's Tuesday? Yeah, yesterday was Monday. I planned, because the last time I talked to y'all, which was Sunday, right? Yeah, because I edited it yesterday. I told y'all how I was excited for Monday to come, because I wanted to go to the gym and work out. Y'all, I was so depressed yesterday. Yesterday was terrible. It was a terrible day. I cried all day in bed. So, I don't know what, because I was so excited for Monday to start, you know, this week was supposed to be my last week of a normal routine, because you guys know I'm about to leave, and I won't be home for like a week and some days, but yesterday, girl, but today, it was okay, like, it wasn't the best day, but I did get up, I actually, my day was thrown off, because, mm, I have not learned yet that I'm 30, about to be 32, literally, y'all, in a month, in freaking 30 days, and that I cannot, y'all, okay, let's just, let me just tell y'all what happened. So, when I'm sad, or I got sad, and I was like, you know what, I got one more little gummy edible left, I was like, I'm gonna eat it, and so I can, you know, not be sad, because it'll take my mind off things, and I had a time, and I was like, oh, am I really depressed, or do I just need weed? That's <laughs> literally because I remember being on Lexapro and I think I started messing with like my edibles back then too. And I'm like, oh no, you just need girl. If this all I gotta do to feel good, and I was great. But one thing, y'all know, and it makes me eat like I eat, and I eat until I can't feel my stomach. No, I can't feel my stomach, so I'm eating, eating, eating. And I knew I was full, and I actually could start to feel my stomach getting full, and I kept eating because it just was so euphoric to eat. I can't do that anymore. I used to be able to do that, and I need to talk about like no weight loss thing, but I used to be able to do that and then go to sleep and the next day wake up and be fine. I was, so, it, it didn't go away during the sleep. Like I didn't digest no food, I don't know. I woke up hurting, like in pain from overconsumption. So that threw my day off, cause I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm hurting. And I didn't start to feel okay till like 11.30. So by the time I got ready for the gym and left the house, it was like 12.30. So I didn't end up leaving the gym till like two o'clock, but at least I went. Came home, y'all see me clean up. I needed to clean up. I'm so glad I got these floors because ain't no make no sense for yum to be gone and my floors to be nasty. Like, matter of fact, why well, I still got these socks on? Y'all, I love walking barefoot, but my floor is always disgusting because my dog sheds, but the dog is gone and I cleaned the floors and just stepping around. And I just want to appreciate them while I can because the next time that I'm back in this apartment after I leave, he'll be back and the floors will be filthy again. But anyway, um, I'm so glad I actually got up and went to the gym, whether it was late or not, and actually cleaned up. I got clothes in the dryer, I washed some clothes. I didn't show y'all that, I don't think. 
So I wash a load of clothes, clean the floors, clean the kitchen. Maybe I'll clean my room tomorrow. Not really my room as much as like my bathroom and my closet. Cause I don't want to leave my house dirty. I'm not leaving my house dirty. Oh yeah, tomorrow me and um, Dana are going to Pasha, yay. And I'm actually gonna attempt to curl my hair with that flat iron. Remember I bought that flat iron? Oh no, you didn't remember. Cause I ain't used it. Cause I need to see if I can use it or if I need to return it. Cause y'all know I don't do hair. And quiet is kept. I'm about to cut it all off and go natural in the meeting. I'm trying to decide if I want to wait till after my birthday or not. But I'm, I'm feeling like I need to relax it, but I'm like, why would you relax it when you know you want to cut it off? Don't relax it and let it do what it do. And that way, when you cut it off, you'll have a little bit of hair, girl, what is you doing? But I also don't want it to look raggedy. But I feel like as long as I'm like molding my hair down, you know, with my uh, my mousse stuff, it'll be okay. It's only gonna look bad, y'all know when, so whatever. Um, but I think I'm gonna try to use it tomorrow just to see if I can or if I need to return it. So we got that. I wanted to do some content for Fenty. I wanted to do that workout outfit. I want to take pictures and do a reel for that. Um, that's pretty much it. I have a, not a massage, but I'm going to get adjusted on Thursday. So I'll tell y'all about that. But I just went to Sprouts. I wanted Chipotle so bad. And I was like, why don't you just go to Chipotle and spend $20 versus I was not trying to spend. Of course, I spent $30 at Sprouts. But I guess... Cause I need to, I don't want to waste this just me. So I've been wasting a lot of my just me cause I haven't been finishing them. So I was like, no, just cook your rice and you're just me. And I went and got some, um, this is coleslaw, but some cabbage to put in it for my veggie, I guess. And also, what else did I get? I got some, um, I, y'all know they had the San Francisco bread, but I didn't want to spend $6 for like all that bread knowing I'm about to leave. So I got this half of pumpernickel and it was only $1.99. I don't think I've ever bought pump, pumpernickel bread and then you have to cut it yourself. But girl, boo. And then I broke down and got the tuna, um, herb and albacore tuna salad. Cause it's so good. Then I forgot, look, I know this, I did not need this pizza, but I said, I guess I'll eat this on Thursday, the day before I leave. Cause they do have really good pizza. And then y'all know why I really win if we telling the truth. I had to get me some mold. Don't play her. Don't play with her. I got another one in here. Some of these are jasmine. I'm gonna take her some. I don't want to unwillingly. Half of me kind of hope she don't like it so she can give it to me. Cause this is amazing. I don't know how they just gonna hide this like limited edition. Like why would you do this? So here's my little Chinese meal at home. It does not look appeasing. I know y'all. It's just meat, rice, and cabbage. Everything can't be pretty. Look, I didn't even want this. I wanted Chipotle, but I'm trying to do right and eat in the house, especially because I know I'm about to be gone for a week and no telling what I'm going to be eating. And then I'm eating out tomorrow. I'm doing the right thing. It's good, too. Anyway, I got to tell y'all about the madness that ensued since the last time y'all just seen me. So I was telling y'all about last night I had my edible and it made me feel better. So today I was like, you know what? The edible be a little bit too much. I can't control it, the eating and all of that. So I was like, maybe I need to go get me like a little vape pen. Still, you know, recreational. It ain't no nicotine or nothing. So I went there and I specifically asked the guy for disposables because I don't like all that. Got to get the charger and all of that stuff. He was high. Y'all, he was high out of his mind because it was just so funny. We was laughing. I said, actually, I want what you want. Then he showed me like these little nuggets. It's so crazy how weed is illegal, but it's not. They selling nuggets. What is those green nuggets if they ain't weed at the dog on vape store? Just like he gave me what he did give me was THCA or something. And I was like, what happened to like the Delta A, Delta 9? He was like, no, this is the closest thing to the plant. So now it's literally saying THC on it, but it's illegal make it make sense girl whatever anyway he gives me um what did i do with it oh it's right here he sells me this literally y'all um so this is hidden hills club indica two grams is thca or something whatever blah 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 i get home and open it pull it out the pack y'all this look like a disposable to you and this is two grams this is crazy this is a cartridge you need a a charger I didn't find out after I got home and was talking to y'all. And when I left, I was like, oh no. I 
left this at home, got in my car, and I was like, oh, I want, I want if they let me, because the receipt don't say if it do exchanges or returns or whatever. So as I'm driving, I'm like, how you gonna return it if you left it at home? So I had to turn around and come back and grab this just to go up there, and she's like, oh, y'all, baby, everything final sale. So then I had to buy a charger, spend some more money. And I was like, what if this cause God don't want you leaning on this and smoking this, but I done, I done bought it now, I done spent the money now. But it was like a lot that I went through for this and I was not trying to, like I bought this for $20 and then the charger was another like 15. I wasn't trying to do that, like I really wasn't. Um, but anyway, I'ma eat first and then mess with this and cause I can't be doing that, be eating like I was eating. But it's crazy that this is like, this is two grams for $20, y'all. When like the little vape cartridges came out, the real you gotta get from, you know, they get them from the dispensary, but we ain't got no dispensaries in Georgia, so you know who's selling them. You'll get like a gram, so one of these, not even, so this is two, so you get half of this, and it'd be like $80, and I got two grams for two. This is wild. What, what, what is we living in? Good afternoon, y'all. I woke up on that BS again. I woke up on that BS. I actually been up since five. I, this is the first time in a very long time that my sleep has been interrupted. Like I usually get up, you know, 8.30, 8, sometimes 9. But this is sweat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm so easily distracted. I woke up at five and immediately start thinking about all the problems that I had that were on my phone. Maybe I need to stop waking up and getting on the phone. I don't know. But... I say all that to say this. I woke up at 5 and did not leave the house to go to the gym till 12. And now it's 2.30 and I could have gotten so much stuff done. Had I did what I be telling y'all I should do, the gym is not non-negotiable. Because do I feel better? Of course. So why do we not just get up and we're going to the gym? It's nothing to think about. It's nothing to talk about. It's an automatic I need to treat it like it's a damn nine to five. When you wake up in the morning, now sometimes you do, but hear me out, hear me out, stay with me. When you wake up in the morning, do you feel like, oh, do I really want to go to work? And then you sit here and contemplate it about for hours and then you be late to work? No, you just get up and go because it ain't really a choice. That's really what I need to do with the gym because it don't make no sense not to go. And then I always feel better afterwards and I just, y'all, I get so, I am an emotional person. I get wrapped up in my emotions and it's woe is me. And I'm, I don't want to say I'm sick of it because I need to give myself grace, but come on now. It was so bad that I was literally about to be like, you know what? Everything that I just vlogged yesterday, you know, I was like, forget that. There is going to be no vlog. I'm not vlogging no more. I just have to see them. And y'all already know I ain't going to be posting for like a week. So this is supposed to be our goodbye vlog. And I thought about that earlier because I'm like, oh my God, we're saying goodbye to Dana basically and then we're saying goodbye to me for a little minute and it's just just say goodbye this is a goodbye vlog but i was really not about to complete this vlog and i was like you know that's real sad and all of this would have been in vain because the only what the only reason that you're home because my mama keep asking me when you coming when you coming even though i keep telling her the same day friday she keep asking because she want me to be there so you done sat up here wasn't there for your mama sitting here talking about you had to work and then you didn't even work i'm knocking over trash because trash is on the island of course you didn't even work after you sat there and kept talking about how you had to be home just to work just to make sure i was on my i got my video up on monday i wanted to get my video up on friday y'all know i'm trying to stick the schedule and you're gonna let your your emotions and your your feelings have all this be in vain you don't even work i can't do it i can't my mama called me and basically Sometimes you just be needing a little pep talk, y'all. But she, like she said, if if I'm not laying in the bed sad and my husband just died and my whole life is changing, you don't have no excuse. And I hate to say that because I hate those people that be like, like if I'm telling y'all I'm going through X, Y, Z, and then you be like, but I'm this and I'm that. Because it's always somebody that has it worse and it doesn't mean that what you're going through is not valid. I'm totally 100% with that. Yes, somebody always going to have it worse than I have it. But that doesn't mean that what I'm going through does it still suck but i should get up and put and just try and just try the first thing is going to the gym and then if you just put one foot in front of the other and worry about the rest of it later because literally if i would just get up and go to the gym as soon as i get up routine like i was doing when i was everything was smooth peaches and cherries it would solve a lot of issues because i would go to the gym and so let's say i would have went to the gym when i got up granted i wasn't going that five but let's just say around eight i went I would have came home, felt better, and been productive. But because I didn't, 
I still got to do everything that I had to do, but now we're starting at 2.30. So anyway, y'all, I need to start packing for Tennessee. It's Wednesday. I'm leaving Friday, but I'm going to have to take my big old suitcase because I'm going to be there so long. Um, I'm, oh, let, I'm going to cut y'all out, cut myself out with y'all, but let me tell y'all, I went to Amazon today. Well, I did not go to Amazon. I went to UPS today and did a drop off of returns. I returned those headbands. I returned those little, y'all remember them little screws I bought for that desk thing? I threw that thing away. Forget it, they didn't fit. And I returned that flat iron because this morning I was playing with it and I was like, what is you doing? First of all, matter of fact, mm -hmm, first of all, I'm bald. I'm going to be bald. I want to cut my hair. I don't know why I keep trying to act like I'm going to do hair. You don't do hair. Just stay true to who you are. You don't do hair. Girl, I was dead flat iron trying to curl this hair and I did curl it. No, I just know even I'm not. No, that's not me. I'm not going to do it. it. I didn't even like the way look. my hair looks a mess. I always do. When I have hair, I am made to be bald because I don't know how to do hair. I'm going to cut my hair and go natural. Again, I don't know why I'm trying to wait till my birthday. I don't I don't know what I'm trying to do. But I do want the, I can't like when I first get my when I my hair is low, because mind y'all, I did get a haircut a month ago now. It's been a month since I got my hair done and he cut it. And I liked it. I like short hair. Like this is some hair. Once that hair starts growing and it needs to be tended to, I don't I don't uh uh. I don't want no hair on my head. I'm trying to let it grow some so I'm just not bald bald because I want to cut the perm off and be natural but I don't really have no new growth which I feel like I got to because it ain't I don't know it ain't a lot I need to let it grow so that's what I'm waiting on I guess but I don't know what I bought that for. I need to stop buying shit from Amazon for what because now I done seen girl got forty dollars coming to me worth the stuff you didn't even need but um yeah, I want to cut my hair, y'all, and I want to go natural. And I know I'm indecisive. I am a Gemini. It's about to be Gemini season. Uh, but literally, I think I want to. No, I want to cut my hair. I want to go natural. I might let my hair grow out for a little minute, like in its natural state. Like I keep saying, I want to cut my hair and don't have no hair. So we'll see how long that lasts because it's going to probably get on my nerves and I'm just going to want to cut it. And I like to wear it real short, whether I like put a perm on it or not. I just don't want no hair on my head i want brush hair i just maybe a little bit to like do a little swirl with the comb like no you you don't do hair okay next topic moving on who told me to buy pumpernickel let's talk about this why did i feel like because this bread was brown like the cheesecake factory bread i thought it was gonna taste like the cheesecake factory. I thought it was going to taste like the Cheesecake Factory bread. This bread nasty as hell. It is so bitter. I'm about to look it up. Like, why is this bread so bitter? I had some last night, y'all, with some butter on it because I engaged in recreations and you know you be wanting to eat. But I didn't go all out. I was like, let me just get a piece of bread and butter. Uh-uh. I know I could have sworn I had pumpernickel before, but you know what? I had rye. But isn't rye pumpernickel? Cause now that I just looked it up, it do. I could have sworn that I had this, but I need to know. It says makes perfect for hearty toast and flavorful. I'm about to try to make my breakfast with this, and cause uh uh, it wasn't good. It says it's addition to. It got molasses and cocoa powder in it. It wasn't sweet. It's, it's cocoa powder in it. That's why it's so dark. It looked like chocolate. It did look like chocolate cake. It wasn't sweet, though. Y'all, it wasn't good. And I'm not even really hungry, which is crazy because it's 2.30. Dana's supposed to come over for 6 for us to go get our pasha. Um, and I know I'm going I'm going to need to eat. So I'm like, do you want to eat those leftovers from last night? I slick do. Instead of eating breakfast. I slick do want to, but I'm not hungry. This is what we're going to do. Cause I have to do my hair and set it and I want to take those pictures for Savage X Fenty so I better think of something and think of it quick. See? Had I not messed around the whole day we wouldn't be scrambling trying to figure out what to do. I decided to make my breakfast y'all cause I was like just go ahead and eat it cause I don't want you starving. But I used the rye bread. No it's pumpernickel. Pumpernickel bread. Do y'all remember that um honey lemon cheese I got? I put that on there instead of like my parmesan. You know, it's not a hard cheese, it's soft, so I couldn't use like the grater. I 
This is so, I don't know what it is about eggs and bread. Some chili crunch. Oh, look at this. It is so good. I know I haven't been tracking lately, but it sucks because I know this ain't that much protein. Because I ain't use no egg whites. I just use two eggs, so it's 12 grams. It's really not an ideal breakfast for me to have. I've literally eaten this every day. For a week or almost close to it. That's crazy. We like to do rich girl stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> With no money. We just hope some man see us and be like, yeah, I'm going to pay for this food for you. Go have fun. You think somebody will pay for our food? I don't know if I did see you in the restaurant. I'm paying for your food. You are lying because, listen, this is for real. I have been, girls will tell me all the time, like, they'll go out to a bar and they literally won't have no money. And they'll go and, like, men buy them drinks. And I am too afraid to even try that. Because what happens if they don't? Like, what you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. You like to clean. You be watching some dishes in the back. No, I I just I I could I'm, I'm not that bold. Ain't no way I could go somewhere and no I don't got the money for this and just I don't know. Let's be nice, but I ain't I'm not bold like that. I've done it in the past before. You did what? Pay for a girl food. Oh, not, no. I, more than I thought you went somewhere with no money and thought somebody was gonna pay for your stuff. It ain't wrong with that i'm just saying i'm not i couldn't i wouldn't be able to do that confidently i'm not finna go nowhere if i ain't got no money girls do it all the time yeah i know i want to try got like a sore thumb in the club i'm not gonna go to no club though because i don't want to be there <laughs> why am i here i don't want to be here okay yeah i'm actually on time for once i'm actually not dana's actually late <laughs> Anyway, um, I actually put on some makeup today. Lay my hair down, it looks really nice. So now I know that it has the potential to actually look nice. I, I go days without it looking nice to the point where I don't even know if I can make it look nice if I want to, but she's looking great. So this is, we didn't need no flat iron or nothing. See, mm -mm. stay in your lane. Um, I did take my pictures for Fenty. So I did, I did good today, I did good. Even though we started off rocky, even though we started off sad, and we started real late. Yeah, I got it, girl. Okay. So here is my outfit, y'all. This is actually, I know y'all was waiting for me to say this is Naked Wardrobe, but it's not. I have it linked below. It's like a little uh, Skims dupe from Amazon. Of course, my necklace, 111. Look at my blush. It looks so good. Y'all see? Ah! Y'all see that? Oh my God, I'm so cute. Y'all know what, I don't even know the last time I wore makeup. And I'm not taking no makeup to Tennessee because we don't typically do anything. And I know that I wasn't gonna wear any makeup like to my stepdad funeral because I know I'm gonna cry. And I made that, oh, I wasn't even in frame because I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I made that mistake the last time I went to a funeral. It was my best friend's grandmother's funeral. And I don't know why I thought I was gonna be cute and put some makeup on and mascara was, matter of fact, I'm wearing sunglasses to his funeral, like black ones. But anyway, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Of course I did. Uh, I'll have this, this is an Amazon bodysuit. I'll have it tagged. Gucci belt, I haven't worn in so long, but it went so well. And I, I don't mix designers, but the black and the gold just went so well. These are Halara like flares. I've been waiting to wear these. And these are my favorite little mule heels. But yeah, y'all know y'all hardly ever see me like this. So when I be dressed up, I be like, okay. I'm actually girly. Little girly. Cute. I think that's our good sis Dana. Yup. Um, so let me go ahead and go. <laughs> Where the last time I asked for real? Oh, I was over there like that. Yeah. I love a hooker that make you feel a little bit. Y'all 
y'all, Dana trying to leave me. She wants some just meat. I shouldn't give her ass shit. You don't want who I'm with. <laughs> well, we know you don't want the braised shredded beef. You don't want the pork. Nope. This is the raspberry chicken. Oh, Damn. Y'all been sleep on the meats. Here go ranch rub chicken. I ain't had that one. Oh, I remember, wasn't that the one you were waiting she for? She said that it was good. I ain't got too much chicken. Cause my little ground beef. But, oh, this one is good. What's that one? Uh, the buffalo chicken breast. Oh, I'll take that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one, um, I like to put it like with salads or wraps with some blue Ooh, cheese. You got to good. it. I don't like blue cheese, but. Um, cause it's buffalo ranch. This is good. That one is good. I like that one. Thank you. It's so, I like blue cheese though. I put it with some blue cheese every time. So you gonna freeze it? Yeah. yeah For how long? Probably until next week. What do we got though? Why? Well, let me. I just wanna know when you gonna oh. get it. Oh, I have to let you know. When you gonna be your gift? You want me to do it now? Yeah. Dana got me a gift, y'all. I don't know why the hell she gave me a gift and she the one fucking leaving. Oh well. <laughs> oh, look, she got me the apple synergy that I was looking for. All this time, and I couldn't find it, and my daddy wouldn't give me his. <laughs> Look, it's all day to fall. <laughs> I tried to do right and live my life. Try to blame me, you girl. Know. I got so many. <laughs> so all of these, <laughs> the gummy bears, those oh, are the best. Not, uh, not the Hydra Boost Gel Mask, y'all. Oh. Dana gonna leave me. Why did you get me a gift and you leaving? <laughs> I feel bad. You don't feel bad. So it's a it's a like oil diffuser pen. What? I know, right? Where you get this from? You were my Barnes and Noble. Mm -mm. So what does that mean? Like as you're writing, it scents come out. Yeah. So like you know, like aromatherapy. That's really cool. Where the fuck? What's the scent? Um. It tell you on the front. Walk in the woods. Yeah. And it smells good because they let you smell it in the store. Like you push it. Where you get this? Why you worry about it? I have never in my life. That it. is crazy. I got me one too. <laughs> so you have you used yours? No, I just got them. When I got yours, I got mine. Oh, that is so cool. So I see it say focus. What's the other ones? Energy, calm, focus, and joy. Oh, you get to push one down. Mm. Oh, and then she done got me some book, Lord. What is this? Please have an open mind. It's a really, like, that's a really great book. Radical Acceptance. Embracing your life with the heart of a Buddha. Now, you know the snowflake's going to be like, ah, you can't have two guys. <laughs> that's why I said have an open mind because of the whole Buddha. And thing. you read this? Yes, and it's an amazing book. So, like, she need that. And even when I, because I read it, either December or January when it was, you know, oh, oh. but even when I was checking out, the guy was like, oh, I just love this book so much. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna miss Thank you. you. Why y'all, why you leaving me? I'm gonna be back. <sighs> Don't be sad. Y'all, it is 2 o'clock, and today is already dating. <laughs> um, I'm sitting at my desk with this jacket on. Nothing below it. <laughs> because I had a meeting at 2 o'clock with Trova Trip. Y'all have been asking about the update. We're going to Costa Rica. I'm just going to tell y'all. Like, it's, uh, well, it ain't really confirmed, but it is. We were discussing itineraries, and y'all know my stepfather passed, and like, stuff just been real crazy. But I was like, okay, I can take this meeting today. I don't know what happened. I, sh I showed up, and nobody else showed up. The last time we got our times off, but I clearly see here it says. 11 a.m. PDT, but that's 2 p.m. my time, EDT, Eastern. I don't know what happened. Before, though, let me just scoop. So that, I don't know what, I was, I was like waiting for her to, because I don't have, like, I'm about to go tomorrow, y'all know. So, yeah, I can't, like, for instance, I had an integration with Lowell, the mattress people, right? We did all that. They just messaged me. 
I hate to complain about brands, but y'all walking working with brands. I sent them that stuff. I literally made sure I was complaining in the last vlog. I think it was the last vlog about how I had to record for this integration. Literally the day after I found out my stepdaddy died and I had to get up and smile and do all this and shoot this content and send it over to be approved. This was over a week ago. And y'all are just now like, oh, hey, yeah, can you post this? And now they're like, can this go live on the 7th? No, it can't because my stepfather's funeral is on the 8th. No, it can't. I won't be posting. No. Anyway, I went out with Dana. Had a great time. I'm so sad about Dana. I meant to ask. Actually, I was supposed to start this day off. I was telling y'all the sadness about Dana. But before I can talk about that, as she was leaving, I don't know if I mentioned it. I don't think I seen it. Because y'all know I had the camera up and I was talking to her and I took the stuff out to get back. My dad texted me talking about he needs to go to the hospital tomorrow, which is today. Um, You know, I'm going to need you to take me or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting ready to go to Tennessee. My dad has ALS, if y'all didn't know. So he's sickly. He hasn't been having a good time. I'm dealing with this stuff with my mama. My dad lives 40 minutes away. It ain't no point in me telling y'all where he lives because if you don't, if you ain't got the Georgia geography, it don't matter. He lives 40 minutes away if there's no traffic. Let it be a stitch of traffic. It's an hour away. Y'all know my brother lives with my dad. My dad is married. My dad has grandkids at his house. He has a nephew at his house. It's not that I don't want to be there because of course I'm concerned about you, but I'm like, why is your first instinct to call me an hour away Knowing that the only reason I'm not in Tennessee right now is because I'm trying to tie up loose work ends to get to Tennessee to be with my mama. Tomorrow is getting this vlog up and I'm out ski, baby. Oh, y'all already seen me packing. I ain't have to show y'all. Y'all see me packing. So I had to, I called him and he's like, yeah, well, I can't really talk. I don't feel good. Blah, blah, blah. I need you to do this. I was like, dad, just call me tomorrow, which is today. Long story short, I don't need to drag y'all through my storyline. He's fine. He, again, he has a wife. I didn't understand my brother's that. It's, it's a lot of just craziness, but he's fine. My stepmom is taking him to the doctor and my brother is giving me updates. I have to leave. I was telling my brother, my mom, I'm my mom's only child. She lost her husband. She does not have anybody in like her little immediate circle right now. Her mother lives next door, but she old. She can't do anything. If anything, my mom be doing for her. Anyway, I told y'all that we was going to get an adjustment today. Remember, I was like, I was going to use one of my massage credits and let this guy adjust my back. And I was terrified, but I was going to get adjusted. They just called me. It was like, he didn't come in today. He had an emergency. We got to cancel your appointment. Bet. 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 Okay. I don't know. It was like a lot happened in today. Like, I, today is. I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck? Like everything that I had to do today, I'm not doing now. I don't know what the hell happened with this guy, this meeting, but now I have to leave and girl, I don't know when we gonna do this and get this rolling. I, I'm canceling my hand and stone membership before I leave because they're not billing me for this money. I absolutely refuse to be billed and I won't be back. Like I'm leaving and won't even be back before. Like they're billing me on the 10th. I won't be back y'all to the 13th. I'm really gonna be gone for like two weeks. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal because honestly, I'm like, whatever. And I'm, I just already surrendered to the Lord, whatever's in your will. Maybe you didn't want me to drive out there. Good. I don't know. But I don't, I don't even care, to be honest with you. It's just crazy how, like, all this stuff just kind of came like, Ugh. all right. Well, we got to go get something done with these nails. I don't really want to feel like being in the nail shop. I don't, I'm not in it. No. But I can't go like this. They're going to start coming up at the bottom. Um, and nobody in Tennessee is going to touch my nails because and then they charge an arm and a leg and they be horrible work. I don't even want, I just want her to take, to get a feeling and I get, um, like the tap gel. I don't want no color on it. It's like my, my tap gel color is like a nude pink. I'll show y'all though, because now y'all going to be curious as to why I'm not getting my nails done in Tennessee. They don't even do what I have on my hands. Anyway, I just want you to put that pink on there. No, no polish, nothing. I want to be out the door. I got to go. I really wish I could leave tonight, but I got to finish this vlog and wrap it up real nicely and put a bow on it for y'all. I forgot my doggone um, Jeep top was down, so I can't really drive. Well, I can drive and talk to y'all. I don't want it to be windy. <sighs> Let me just go ahead and say my piece because 
y'all know I'll be sitting here talking for like infinity, but I just want to say, I already said this. Y'all, I'm so sad that Dana's leaving. And like yesterday was another reminder. I have said this so many times in so many vlogs. If you be watching them all, then you know. I literally prayed for Dana and Chelsea. And they are, y'all, it's just crazy. Because like I have... I don't want to say I've been through friends because real friends, you know, they don't really go anywhere. But I have been through girls. Like, I've been through girls. And, like, girls don't do not be solid for real. Let's just say what it is. They don't be solid. It be... I, I'm sorry to say, I'm not the problem. I will say, before therapy, I did not know that I could say stuff that was offensive. But the thing is, I feel like there was only one instance when that was an issue. And see, with that same girl, me saying little slick shit, you know, which I'm not trying to be offensive. That's just my personality. But whatever, we're going to take that, right? Didn't have nothing to do with you mentioning me and my designer purses to other friends. So, I do not be the problem, for real. I hate to say that because it just sounds like everybody the problem but me. But, like, I have two friends that I've had for last years one of them since literally I was kindergarten and kindergarten and then Jasmine since high school and then like when I meet girls it just I don't I don't be meshing with the girls like that or like I don't really like the girls and then it'd be something else and then the reason I'm saying like I feel like I know that I have you know in the past said things that maybe I shouldn't say but I don't have bad intentions and I didn't even know I was saying things a lot of the people that I meet like they're like me so for instance jasmine jasmine say crazy shit to me all the time and it doesn't phase me because we kind of have similar like upbringings so she don't think she's saying nothing crazy and i don't think she's saying nothing crazy either because i'm used to that type of like playful banter um i feel like i have became friends with other girls that are like that i just i'm not i've not had good luck let me just say that with females and like having long less than friends like i'll meet some girls we might be friends for a couple of months maybe a year or two and and then girl girl and I done lost some good friends over a man girl and not like oh I wanted them type shit never never that but it be some girls that they get a man and then they be acting like they can't do nothing and I hate to say this because it just sounds like oh well, you know they they do have to prioritize their relationship it be men girl let me just say this I've had a friend ditch me for a man or like bring up she can't do something because her boyfriend and that same boyfriend I had to drive around in my car because he didn't have one anyway I don't care about none of that I say all that to say when I sat and I prayed and I was like God can you just give me some friends that are like minded kind of like me you know like that I can mesh well with I don't remember the exact prayer but I prayed and the Lord knew and then he sent me Chelsea and Dana because I literally met Dana August of 2023 and then I met Chelsea like physically October 2023 like right around and I cannot believe Dana leaving but she is such a good friend and a good person and Chelsea too and that's why I'm just like so excited because you can just tell when somebody's solid like my two best friends I just told y'all that the best friend from kindergarten she sent my mom the Publix um sandwich tray because my stepdaddy passed like friends like that i remember a long time ago i had girl like girl i always had a camera i'm trying to tell you i always had a camera i had a camera i don't remember what i was doing wasn't no youtube stuff or nothing i was in high school maybe middle school no high school i was over at her house girl we was doing something with the camera long story short she had it and she dropped it and she broke it now us being kids i know it wasn't you know um an accident i wasn't even thinking nothing of it she was like no i gotta buy you another one like i have to buy you another one Mind you, think about me and my camera now. Like, my camera is my livelihood now. I will understand why if somebody broke my camera or whatever, they would want to replace it for me because this is how I live. Back then, no, I was just messing around. Like, girl, I ain't need that camera. She replaced my camera. She's a good damn friend. Like, she's an amazing friend. Even Jasmine, an amazing friend. There has been so many times where you be like, you know how you be like, oh, girl, let's go eat. I ain't got no money. Girl, did I ask you? Them type of fucking friends. And I have ran across so many people where I have to reevaluate the relationship and I'm giving and I'm doing and they're not. And I'm not the type of person to do tit for tat because I just, I'm a giving person. Actually, my love language is gift giving. Like I like to give gifts. But you have to see and pay attention when it's feel like this relationship is benefiting more people than it's benefiting you because that's not how relationships should go. Anyway, on a tangent. I just want to say I'm, I'm so happy to have them. So sad to lose Dana. I'm not really losing her, but 
she just won't be in close proximity but I'm so happy for them to have them and I'm thankful for them and I'm really just in a place where I'm trying to acknowledge that the prayers that I prayed were answered because that means going to be some more that was answered anyway I feel like a fool sitting in this car talking to myself and just sitting here girl anyway I'm about to go to the um, nail salon that's where we're going and then after that I need to grab a bag of lettuce because I'm having pizza tonight I bought that pizza from Sprouts and I wanted to make a Caesar salad with it especially because I had some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese ready to go It is so much going on, y'all. I'm home cleaning up. Because, again, I'm leaving tomorrow. So, I didn't want to leave my house dirty. So, like, I'm putting the dishes in the dishwasher. I don't have no dishwasher tablet. So, I'm going to have to go get some. Because I can't leave these dishes funky in the doggone um, dishwasher till I get back. They're going to be real stink. Why is this bright? Here we oh, I made it brighter. Anyway, y'all, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of, um like, family drama going on. Lord. This is about to be a sh show. It, ooh, girl. But one good thing, I just realized I was over here washing dishes, y'all. I'm gonna be in town for my best friend's birthday. Brooke. Brooke's birthday is May 9th, so it's literally gonna be the day after the funeral. I am excited. I am so excited about that. Cause typically, y'all, I, I go up there just for Brooke's birthday. I think the last time though, I don't know what she did. Last year was 18. I know her 16, she came down here and that was so fun. I vlogged that, if anybody remembers. Um, but she's turning 19 and I'm going to be there for my best friend's birthday. And that made me happy when I thought about it. I hope Crumble Cookie got a good menu this week. Because we liked our crumble. If they ain't on their mix. We might slide because she probably ain't even doing this for her birthday. But nonetheless, I'll be there if she is. That literally made me so happy when I thought about it. This, I never look forward to going to Tennessee the way that I look forward to going. I usually don't be wanting to go. And not because I don't want to see my family or like my mom, but because I'm a, I'm a homebody and I really like being in my house and in my apartment. But y'all, I've been ready to go. And that's because um, I want a break. Like, I'm ready to go lay on my mama bed. I was gonna say her couch, lay on my mama bed, hang out, not do nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Like, I am gonna vlog, but since I'm gonna be there for so long, like, I might be picking up the camera, like, few far in between. Girl, because if I was vlogging for real, it would probably be like two or three dogs. I'm gonna be there literally over a week. But no, I'm really going to chill and take this time to reset and refocus. I oh, damn, I went in frame my bad, y'all. I told y'all I was about to start. Give me some more inventory for the summer. Finna get back in, like, work mode. I tried to be a full-time YouTuber. It didn't work out. <laughs> I tried for, like, a couple of months. <laughs> Whew, so, I'm going to, like, for real, take this time to just, like, rest. Oh, I didn't stop at the store. Look at Dana's. I don't know, people give me stuff that I like. Like, it's still sitting here. Even though I know it's sitting here, I put the stuff back in it. I don't know. It's just, I still can't believe, like, she got me that. Like, that was so nice. Like, y'all, it really it does not take much to make me happy. I am not a picky person. This girl went and got me a bag full of things. No, the things wasn't, like, expensive or nothing just crazy, but I... It meant everything to me that you even thought let me get her something. Like, y'all, that is wow. That is wow. People do not do that these days. Like, people are not thinking about other people. Like, we are very self-centered. So, like, I'm, t I don't know. I I'm going to keep beating the dead horse. But when I tell y'all, like, I am so happy to have her. Sometimes your friend, this be real good when your friends treat you better than any me. I ain't gonna say any man has ever treated me like, I ain't really had no bad men. But as of lately, and then watch what I tell y'all after, this is wild. As of lately, I've been having more luck with the girls than the men, like having like meeting good people, which is actually usually opposite for me. Like I told y'all, I can't meet no 
no girl girls to save my life, but it always be a man. That's different for me. And with that being said, I was literally about to tell y'all that I didn't go um, get no salad from the store because we're not making the pizza and having salad because Farmer Bay is bringing wings and I'm going to eat them gladly. <laughs> So why I'm about to say these men don't do nothing like wait it's not that. It's just y'all with girls I guess too, you just gotta go through the bad bunch to get to the good love, you know, get to the good people. But the girl thing is really like I can't hold y'all. Like I'm really excited about that. Cause I, besides like my best friend of kindergarten, Jacqueline and Jasmine. I have not had no female friends just do stuff for me like that. No, not really. Like they'll come kick it with you, y'all go out to eat. But like just random acts of kindness, not experienced that from new people, new girls. It's always been my older faithfuls that give me that. So I am really just like, wow, I hit the jackpot. Two, two, can we go for a three? <laughs> Y'all, wait till he turn around. Who this is? Who this is? Turn your ass around. Hey, that's my baby. Niggas be hating. That's my baby. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Look at you hating. Poor mama's a widow. You up there with that. <laughs> You were working on it. Ah, I'm done. I oh shit, I gotta edit, gotta edit y'all tomorrow. But I'm done. That's it. I'm excited. Like everybody's favorite. Hey, y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? Satellites never really made love. Ah, look at me like I'm at a concert. Yes, that's the Kevin I know. That's how I got introduced to Kevin. Literally, oh damn, I'm all zoomed in. That is literally the Kevin Gates that I know. That's me being introduced to Kevin Gates. That's the first song you ever about? Yes, this guy I was talking to in college put me on. I played the oh, fuck out of this shit. But did Post to Be In Love and all that come out before this? I don't know what I'm saying about. Cause I know whatever I heard this first and then I went back and revisited like oh, his that old was stuff. Like, the first song I heard by Gates was uh. This was my first song. Think of what my dick. Huh? Think of what my dick was the first song I think I heard about. See, I heard all that after. I'm not saying it came after, but you know, I had to go revisit. No, smiling faces is the first song I heard by him. See, I heard all that later. I actually, so after this, I kind of waited. I liked them, but I wasn't looking into them. That Luca Brasi. That Luca Brasi two? No. Or one? Oh wait, no, no, yeah, two. Oh, uh, John got it. Bet a lot of pussy niggas want him. That's the Brasi. So yes. The yes. first, the first yes. song when it came out. So after, uh, after that. Uh, my nigga Wesley, he go on, he go on flesh. After that, that's when I said, okay, I got to look into this nigga. That's when I started getting his music. I would have loved to be there for that. I've been to every damn Kevin Gates concert in Atlanta. A real general. <laughs> oh my God! Look at me like we like we really at a concert. When I be at camp, this how I be looking the whole time. I just be like, oh, I can't believe it! So, heavy. so when you go to the Kevin Gates concert, do you be in the front? Or no, that's why I'm saying the next time I am, cause I done been to three. Next time I'm I'm there. This nigga sweat need to fall on me. You ain't never been to the front. No, cause I be with people that I don't really care for real. But I said the next time, hey, I need them backstage passes for real. What's up? You got like hit it? My head too big to get light. Look, I done made some good hook in the day. My head too big to get light. That's the only light skin man I ever loved. Mm, mm, mm. Stop running from the shop. I'm not. Take your little thing out. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> this was the one he came out with when he went to prison, ain't it? Do you think I really need yes. your love more than you need me? Show me your true colors, girl. I just want to see. Because I done had too many come around and change on me. She's screaming, please don't waste my time. I said I totally agree. I'm fine with that.
I done gave my watches away, ain't got no time for that. Asking where's my heart? Good luck finding it. How long do I see you around? Think I'm still timing it. We had a good life. We had a good life. They had to say the last little 20 minutes for Kevin. Hold on. So you weren't in college when you first heard Kevin? Yes, but I was married though. Yeah, I was married though. This was when I first heard Satellites, it had to be 2014. Okay. I remember. Because this is funny. You know what's funny? I told you that it was a guy I was talking to in college. Well, technically, it was I was married in it. Hold on, what? That's what I said. It was, so listen to the story. It was this guy I was talking to in college. I was in love with this man. This man had me dropping off babies. Like, it was a lot. Then I had met the guy who's my ex-husband now, and I wasn't really, whatever, forget him. I wouldn't think about him like that. I went over to this guy's house. This is before we got married, right? So I went over to his house one day, and I had asked him, because I kind of knew what type of time he was on. You know, I'm, 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 I'm a G, what's up? Mm -hmm. So I was like, if you have a girlfriend, just tell me, like, I ain't gonna say I'm a steal because I don't, but I ain't, I'm cool, I ain't even mad. I'm, no, I ain't got no girlfriend. What are you talking about? I went to this man's house one day. Why was there some pink flat irons in the bathroom? Why is there pink flat irons in here? Like, you... I ain't even say nothing because you know I keep a G. After that, that's when I was like, oh, let me pay attention to him. The end of the marriage. Why the next semester I had a class with his girlfriend, the girl with the pink flat irons? How you figure out this one? Because I seen him outside the class and I was just. And that was his girl. Know. What the? F yeah, I'm not. You say nothing. You say nothing. But then after I got married, we started. <laughs> Come to Atlanta for the weekend. Slide. Just toxic. But without him, I wouldn't have been put on the Kevin. So hey, y'all happy for a reason. It led me to you know the one I was supposed to be with. See? Went off my head, but okay. Kevin. It led me to Kevin, the one I'm supposed to be with. Drinky gonna beat your ass. Take your shot. Did you not hear the last album? Take my last name up off your name. See how fast you start a brand. Beef sound like beef to me. Take Gates off your name. See how fast you start a brand. Meaning you ain't nobody talk about you. Sound like beef to me. Sound like he trying to slide. Why is you looking like that? To a vacation in Tennessee. Ain't no damn Cinco de Mayo. It's Sunday. Yeah, but she is. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. Be with the rain. Hey. That's why I said that. Anger spazzes on producers, females. That is so disgusting. I thought you was a real nigga. They ain't like that moonshine. It's nasty as fuck. I ain't enjoy that at all. Aw, oh, man. Uh uh uh. I don't like that. Oh, no. See, why that moonshine didn't do all that? Because it's moonshine. It's hot all the way down. I'm fine. Don Julio. Oh, Mark just walked in. I'll call you back.